Hey, welcome. This is a Rep First tutorial on Facebook and how to create a business page for your business or company. All right, so first things first, if you do not have a personal Facebook account, you actually have to create one before you can create a business or company page. However, if you do have one, let's go ahead and log in with our username and password to get started. So once you're logged in, go to the top and type in the URL facebook.com slash page, P-A-G-E. Next, you'll need to decide how to categorize your business or organization. Most organizations will choose local business or place or company organization or institution. So most brick and mortar organizations will want to choose local business or place. This will help potential customers be able to find you, but will also give them the option of leaving an online review. After selecting a category for your organization, you'll then need to fill in your address to help customers find your exact location. However, if you opt for company, organization, or institution, all you need to do is select your category and then type in the name of your organization. Then select Get Started. So after that, we're going to do a couple more things. We're going to fill out an About section, which is basically a description of your company. Then after that, you will add your company website or URL below. To move on to the profile picture, click Save Info. Next, you'll either need to upload your photo or import it from a website. And right here, I'm choosing to upload mine. Okay, there it is. Uh, when it's uploaded, just click Next. And then the next screen is Add to Favorites. Basically, all of that you're going to do on this screen is click this green button right here, and that's just going to enable you as a user to get to your business page a little bit easier. Okay, hit Next. And then last, we have the Preferred Page Audience. This portion allows you to identify your preferred market, meaning Facebook will start targeting your preferred audience. You'll want to pick the location of your audience, the age, the gender. Lastly, you'll want to categorize your business within an interest to target your preferred audience or your target market. All right, once you click Save, your page is actually built, and now we just need to start filling it out with information. You'll notice immediately the tutorial pop-ups that Facebook provides. These pop-ups are built in to help you understand the functionality of the website, including the tabs, the like button, and how to invite friends. So now that we're through the tutorial tab, let's go ahead and start customizing our page. We'll start by adding a cover photo to our page. This will help to distinguish your brand and add a personalized touch to your page. Once you upload your photo, you'll see that you have the ability to drag and reposition your photo if you desire. However, if you're done, just click Save Changes and you'll see that that photo actually posted to your wall. Uh, but before we talk about posting, let's go ahead and click on the About section. So within the About section, you're going to want to fill in your company information as best as possible. The more information you provide enables more users to find you, as well as it gives them an understanding or better understanding of what you do with your company or organization. And then one last important note on the About page is to check your business address. By selecting the box underneath the map, that enables you to receive reviews on the Facebook page. All right, so let's go back to the timeline and talk a little bit about posting. So as far as Facebook is concerned, one of the best ways to engage your audience is by posting things on your page. First, I want to show you just how to make a general post. I'm just going to type in what I want. I'll click publish right there. Uh, but then after this, I want to show you how to post a video and a photo. And then on top of that, I want to show you how to pin something to the top of your page. So next, I'm going to click on photo video and upload a video here. So once you select your video and press upload, you have a few other options from here. In order to engage your audience a little bit better, you're going to want to write a video description, a video title, and then actually pick a category for which you feel the video best fits under. So once you fill out that basic information, you have the option to post this to your page by pressing publish. However, I do want to show you this little function over to the left where it says no button. This function allows you to add a few more options for your viewer. For example, if I want the viewer to have the option to click through to my website, I'm going to select learn more, and then I'm going to type in my URL or my website. And by doing that, when I click publish, it's actually going to pull in information from my website and link it in that video. All right, and once our video is processing, it will be done, and then it will post to our wall. I'll click on that right there. And there we go. There's our video. If I want to get back to my timeline, I'm going to click on timeline. And there is our video, and it should stream automatically. Now, a few more things before we finish. What I want to do now is actually upload a photo. Uh, I'm going to click on photo slash video. I'm going to upload a photo that I already have. I'll select that there. Click open. Then on top of the photo, I have the option to add a description. And when I am finished with that, I'll click publish. All right, so we've posted text. We've posted a video and now a photo. Last thing is I want to show you this little thing up in the corner of each post. There's quite a few options here, but what you'll probably use most are the edit post, the hide from timeline, and the delete feature. Lastly, though, I want to show you this feature called pin to top. The pin to top feature allows you to take any post on your wall and actually pin it to the top of your page. And what that means is anytime somebody visits my page, they will see that post or that video before they see anything else below. All right, so that is the pin to top feature and actually the end of this tutorial. So good luck with your Facebook page and thanks for watching.